Hundreds of participants from around the world flocked to Atlanta, Georgia last week for the Aerospace Maintenance Competition at MRO Americas. Each team participated in 26 events, testing their speed, accuracy, and grit, the best overall earning the coveted Bill O'Brien Award. And we're here today because this is our annual event where we highlight the men and women that are faces behind safety and aviation maintenance. And we put them on display front and center for the public to see the many responsibilities that we carry in order to keep aircraft, helicopters, rocket engines safe and airworthy. During the competition, we spoke with team coach Michael Riccardelli about MIAT College's first all-female team. You know, we need to get more ladies into this into this craft, and we have quite a few ladies involved in our campus. And I just started recruiting these ladies, and like, man, y'all y'all need to get out here and get part of this too. And they were very enthusiastic and energetic about doing it, and very excited to be here. I'm in the field of aviation, basically for about nine years, and I decided to come to America and, and get my ANP license. What drove me to do this basically was, you know, growth experiences, changes, life changes, wanting to evolve, network, things like that, collaborate and work as a team. All those things were, I saw were beneficial for me in my, I guess, growth journey and development as an individual, I know, and it's, it's been a ride. It's that ride went on to include her all-female team earning a professionalism award alongside a team from Salt Lake Community College. On the third and final day of MRO Americas, the top scoring teams were announced, many of which took home cash prizes, scholarships, and equipment to further their careers in aircraft maintenance. Teams representing FedEx Express, United Airlines, and Alaska Airlines earned top overall scores respectively. The Honorable John Goglia, President of the Aerospace Maintenance Council, concluded the festivities with an emotional message. You know, and one of the things we've been saying for a while is we would like to be able to say we have 84 teams and not have to say that 20 of them are female teams. They were all the same. And you know what, and as I look today, look at what's going on, we're moving in that direction.